Uh, hey guys here for another video today we're looking at Tay LaVey. Uh, before I get into that fucking uh, review, uh, finally a thousand subs, yay, I can apply for monetization. Uh, good and bad news, right? Obviously, I can apply for monetization. Uh, bad news, it's most likely all of my videos are gonna get demonetized. Uh, you know, it's very, like, sex-based, I can't really do that. I know there's people that, like, monetize off that stuff, but it's more, like, educational, or mine's, like, pure OnlyFans, like, dick sucking and shit like that. I'm pretty sure if I do get monetized, it's gonna be, like, a cent every thousand views, so, uh, chasing that YouTube dream. But ideally, it would be cool to kind of be able to do this, uh, whole OnlyFans at a bigger scale. I already have three girls lined up to, like, interview them podcast style, and they're pretty big. So I think that's kind of like the direction I'm going is to be able to interview these OnlyFans girls and kind of humanize some of them and probably go in a little hard in some of them. For example, why they don't show nudes or why they do this, why they do that. Uh, and, you know, kind of drill them because I'm not going to simp toward them regardless if I see them in person or not. It's just uh, who I am in person. So uh, nonetheless, let's get started with this review. So like I said, we're looking at Tay LaVey, LaVey. And she's pretty poppin'. She has 1.2 million followers on Instagram. Uh, again, she's part of the whole crew with like Nala, N Nalray, Nala Ray, XOXO, Alley Cat, XOXO, okay. Uh, again, part of that whole gang. And they all share a very similar model of Instagram and OnlyFans. Again, I'm pretty sure probably one of them got into it and got uh, the others to kind of get into the whole, whole OnlyFans a career or side gig and uh you can obviously tell just like the way everything's formatted with their only fans and their social media is how alike they are again uh i mean i'm gonna say that tay lavey i'm just gonna say this right off the bat she has no nudity on her only fans if that's what you're expecting and i think most people expect that uh, just because if you look at her accounts and kind of like uh the content she produces she's obviously selling her body so if someone gets like an only fans where their gimmick is their body and they're hot and you probably have an expectation where there is nudity on the base sub of her OnlyFans. So, again, uh, I don't think it's that good, but let's look at her social media account. So, like I said, she does have an Instagram. And I think it's worth checking out her videos that she posts on Instagram and pictures. Because it is very similar to what she actually has on OnlyFans. So, this is like the third girl. Again, they're all part of the same crew, so they're all going to have that same uh, model of sharing shit like that. Uh, she does have a TikTok. Honestly, if you like her TikToks then you're probably gonna like what she has on her OnlyFans. Again, her OnlyFans is very, very not nudity. It's very like uh, TikTok-y, very Instagram skit style videos. Uh, so if you honestly wanna get her OnlyFans, you might as well just go on her TikTok and Instagram because it's very similar to what she has. Uh, if you do wanna follow her TikTok, she does have a good amount and I think it is worth checking out. She does have a Twitter and uh, she does repost some stuff on her Twitter and her OnlyFans. So like I said, again, if you like what you see on these public platforms, Forms and you think it's worth following her for those short videos and those top couple pictures that you see on her Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, uh, then you might like her OnlyFans. But again, no reason to pay for it if she posts that tough stuff already on public platforms. Now, the great part is that she does have her own website, Tay LaVey fucking shop dot com shop uh she has great merch right just a white hanes shirt with lave i'm not really sure who she's trying to cater this to like even a simp wouldn't wear this i'm pretty sure there's like simps out there that like at least have some style i don't really see anyone wearing or buying a white hoodie that says lave lave who the fuck is tay lave that's a really good question because i still don't know who she is again i don't really know why she's famous i tried doing my whole background research on her i don't know why she has so many followers beside her being hot so i again nothing wrong with selling your body in fact this is the age where you ideally want to sell your body and make money because uh back in the day you couldn't really do that unless you worked at a strip club or a prostitute on the street you know yeah, if you're a big enough sim for her and you want to get her merchandise, obviously that's an option. So let's get into her OnlyFans. So right when you get her OnlyFans, it, I got it for $3.15, but it is for $8.99. I personally waited because someone told me they were going to get a discount for them. So I was like, you know what? I'll wait. There's not really any point on wasting, what, a triple the amount of money that I can get it when I can just get it for $3. So I waited for that, got it, and so I figured it'd be best time to review it. So uh, right when you get her OnlyFans, you're greeted with this... Uh, delightful description join now to see all my exclusive content daily posts and every message answered by me if you like natural melons and a big personality uh that, that you know what she means by big personality not actually big personality by the way psa uh you're in the right place babe life-changing forbes a must-see before you die warner hose 
Uh, I'm pretty sure she made those quotes up. I really don't think her OnlyFans is life changing. I mean, if you creep on her entire like social media, I st you know the only thing that's life changing really is like why did I waste my time? That's kind of how I felt when I looked at her OnlyFans. It is one of the worst OnlyFans I've ever seen. Again, if you like her and you desire her and you are sent to her, you're gonna enjoy her OnlyFans. But as a person who compares OnlyFans to people that do annuity and do not have a paywall, then her account really doesn't match any of that. She doesn't, again, she does not have any annuity on her base sub, but if you wanna get that nude content, then you can pay for it. Again, if you're all cool with that, awesome for me, I'm not. So uh, let's get into her OnlyFans. So right off the bat, uh, I will say she does have a menu to what she offers, and I'll read it out loud real quick. Hey, babe, I updated my menu and make want to make sure that you have the newest version. It's below. Uh, what are your plans for today? So if you want to get your dick rated for some godforsaken reason, I don't know why. Please do not be that desperate. It's $10. Two nudes, $12. Naughty schoolgirl trio nudes, $15. The videos, $18, $25, $20, 27 And I think one thing that kind of sucks is that even for some of her videos, such as like, let's just say the cum shot video, right? You don't really know the uh, uh, length of it. So you don't know what you're really getting yourself into. $18 for what? A five second video, 10 second video. Uh, some of them, she does post the length of it. JOI, five minutes. Tell you how to stroke it, $48. JOI, 10 minutes. Gold bikini popular. Fire emoji. Don't know what the fuck that means. $60. But everything else, you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. But again, if you're cool paying with those prices, then you might find her OnlyFans worth it. Now, I will talk about her base up a little bit. So she is one of those girls that she does advertise everything on the DMs, unfortunately. If you look at almost every post, uh, I'll say, check your DMs, check your DMs, check your DMs. Do you like this? You want more? Check your DMs. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I paid for a base sub and ideally you want to get some good content on your base sub. It just doesn't make sense to me why you would have a shitty base sub and charge for everything. Again, no matter how cheap or expensive it is, you ideally want to have a good base sub. Imagine if Netflix kind of had that model where it's like, okay, you can pay $10 a month, but you'll have, a, you know, your the content that you uh, Netflix will offer at the base sub wouldn't be worth it. And if you want the better videos, you have to pay for it. For me, that doesn't make sense, especially in the long term when you're trying to keep people uh, you know, stuck with your sub. Uh, with her photos, she does have 177 photos and there is no nudity. Honestly, it's another Instagram slash TikTok slash Twitter. Uh, if you honestly want to see her in sw more swimsuits, uh, sure. Again, there's some pictures that she does post on her OnlyFans that are on her Twitter. Uh, I'll post a one or two or a couple of them just because, uh, just to give you guys an idea of what it is. So, uh, let's get into her videos. So her video, she does have 40 videos, which I don't think is a lot. And uh, coincidentally, her longest one's also 40 seconds. 9-11 conspiracies. She's the one that did it. Uh, but yeah, her longest video is 40 seconds, 33, 24, 22, 15, and it starts rolling down to 7, 6, and 3, 2, 1 seconds. Uh, the content of what she has in her videos, again, she does have some videos on her TikTok uh, and Instagram. If you like those videos on her Instagram and TikTok and you want to see more, uh, feel free to pay for it. I don't think it's worth it. It's just a lot of boob shaking uh and it's not even that long like i said uh some of her videos are less, like, such as a five second one she'll shake her boobs and then it'll just cut off randomly or she'll have like a titty drop but she kind of teases it in the, in the sense that it's like let's say the video is 13 seconds uh, for 13 seconds she's lifting up her shirt and right when it's about to drop the video cuts off so you're not really getting anything tasteful in any of her videos uh like i said if you like her tiktoks and you want to see more exclusive tiktoks of her again there is no new there is no nudity uh it's all pretty pg so i don't really think it's worth it so again short video uh i, I know i sound like i'm hating on her i'm not i'm being pretty strict i mean it, it, there's a video of her or two videos of her working out if you want to see her doing squats and dumbbells if you're that desperate for her, you should probably go to a doctor. No offense. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense to me why anyone would keep her OnlyFans beside getting the exclusive content that she pays a significant or she charges a significant amount for. So, and sorry, Taylor Vay, Strawberry Cakes XL. Uh, you seem like a nice girl, but your OnlyFans seems pretty shitty. So I hope I save some dollars for anyone that, you know, is thinking about getting her OnlyFans in the future. So thanks again for watching this video. Thanks again for a thousand subs. See where you could go with this. And again, I'm going to slowly be releasing some interviews of like porn stars or girls that have, uh, you know, OnlyFans and not like underground girls, like, you know, pretty reputable girls uh, in the future. So you guys will be able to see that. So thanks again. Have a good day, guys. Bye.